Hi, it's Sunshine. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today's going to be a different kind of video. I'm actually going to be doing a grocery haul. Um, it's not going to be a big one. I didn't get too, too much, but I did go to Walmart and Target. So I'm going to show you what I got at both. Uh, and if you hear my fan going, it's so, so, so hot. So I apologize for that, but I'm sweating. Okay. So I'm going to try to make this super quick and easy because I don't know how long it's going to take me to get through everything probably forever <laughs> uh, but yeah so i will sorry pepe's running around uh yeah let's get started okay so i'm gonna start here so i have some of this ocean mess farms uh just lettuce i have two cucumbers i have some red peppers um some of these tomatoes just the sunset kind um all of these are zero points on weight watchers i use them for like sandwiches salads etc what I got at Target is mostly drinks, honestly. <laughs> so um, someone had suggested when I make my iced coffees, instead of doing um, ice cubes, that I should mix it with this cold one when I do the skinny syrup to not water it down. So I ended up picking up this Starbucks iced coffee. It's the medium roast one. And then they have these cool polar seltzer waters. There's nothing added, um, but they have a pink summer iced tea flavor and the strawberry margarita one. So I thought these were super interesting. So I wanna try these. And then I got this uh, hot sparkling water. It's the raspberry acai, which I've never heard of before. So I wanted to give those a try. Um, <laughs> like I told you guys, I got a lot of drinks. I have this Waterloo sparkling water. It's the summer berry one. And then I got their brand, uh, Target's brand, the Good and Gather pomegranate dragon fruit. Sorry if I'm like going kind of fast paced here. <laughs> I am trying to get through everything. I don't know how long it's going to take. So yeah, so all of the vegetables, like I said, there's zero points on Weight Watchers. I use them for sandwiches, salads, etc. Those, all those drinks. So I don't know if I've told you guys before, but I have a problem with like getting in enough water. Um, I just, I just don't ever feel thirsty or I don't actively, like at this point, I have to actively choose to drink water. Like I have to tell myself like, oh, you need to drink water right now. You know what I mean? So, and it's not that I don't like water. It's just that I don't think about it really. So I ended up picking up those seltzer waters because I love, love, love seltzer water. And for some reason I could drink it like all the time and it doesn't have any, I make sure to not get any like added sugars or fake sugars or anything like that. It's just like water, carbonated water and natural flavoring. Um, so I get those and like I said, I just, I have a problem with my water consumption. So those help me. Um, I don't know if they would help you or anybody else. Um, I'm sure obviously other people are in the same boat, but yeah, so that's why I got those ones and that's why I have so many. So I'm sure some of you, some of you guys are going to be like, why do you got so many drinks? <laughs> yeah. So I need that many just to like, make sure I get my water intake in. So don't mind that. So for meats, I did get... Um, this is a different one. It's not the buffalo chicken. It's the, what is it? Just roasted turkey, I guess. I don't know. I think it's just roasted turkey, regular. Um, and then I got some turkey pepperoni. And then this is just a pack of chicken. I use chicken pretty much all the time. Um, it's just like one of the main meats that I, proteins that I eat. So I get that pretty much every time I go shopping. And then over here, I did pick up some of these little snacks. So I have the Smart Sweets. These are like the watermelon ones, sour melon bites. I got the Swedish Fish ones. I got like the Sour Patch type. And then I got the peach rings again. Um, and then right here, I actually got this. It's like a pudding mix, sugar-free pudding mix, butterscotch. I've just heard that it's better because you can mix it with like yogurt and stuff. And it just, it's a lot healthier than all the added sugars would be. So I got that. Um, for fruit, my fruit's kind of all over the place. So I have strawberries over here, over here I have bananas, I have pineapple, way over there I have watermelon. So that's kind of all over the place right now. Um, I did pick up these shredded hash browns from Walmart. Um, I just, I really think that potatoes are good for me, especially in the morning. I try to make sure that I'm satiated enough so that I don't get hungry again super quickly. So I do try to have some type of like eggs and uh hash browns or potatoes or something in the morning i feel like that would be filling in good for me um i did get this greek plain yogurt i meant to get the fat free version um so i don't know i mean i'm sure i can work with it it's fine but not what i was hoping for i did pick up this um it's i can't believe it's not butter but it's the spray kind so everybody has been talking about that one because butter is just not good for you and of course spray butter it's not really any different but it I feel like it'll help me with the amount that I use if I just do a couple sprays instead of 
you know, tablespoons and tablespoons <laughs> that I would normally use. So I feel like that's going to help me. Um, and then over here is kind of just some random stuff. So I got some ranch packets again because um, I'm going to mix it with like some plain Greek yogurt to make some type of like ranch dressing or something like that instead of using regular dressing or the fat free because I don't love the fat free kind. Um, and then right here, I just have like 18 eggs. Don't mind my mug. <laughs> I just have some eggs here. Uh, I use eggs all the time, so they're crucial for me. And then right here, I have this on the border salsa con queso. I just really love like um, dips or, you know, some type of like dressing that I can put on wraps or sandwiches. And it's not that high in points. Um, so I got that one. And then I got the famous G Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce. I've never had it before. I believe it's zero points for two tablespoons and I heard this one specifically is amazing so I picked that up and then right here this is just some tomato sauce um I didn't realize actually let me flip you guys around so I can talk to you hi so <sighs> me I didn't I guess I just didn't think about it but like the pasta sauces the red sauces that I use I didn't realize how much like actual sugar and carbs they had so I didn't even realize that I was consuming so much of that um, until I really looked at it and I was like counting the actual points and stuff and the calories and looking at the actual nutrition facts and I was like, wow. So what I've been trying to do is actually, like if I want a red sauce pasta or anything like that, um, I try to buy like regular plain tomato sauce because has nothing added. Um, and then I just like add my own seasonings. I don't really add like sugar or anything, but I'll do like pepper. I'm trying to look, garlic powder cayenne pepper you know stuff like my own stuff that I can control um the amount of how much goes in there but yeah I had no idea I never knew <laughs> which might seem totally obvious for some other people but for me it was not so just wanted to share that with you guys so I did forget to mention this but I do get the mission car balance whole wheat wraps um I believe there are two points for one wrap um and they work for me I really like them I enjoy them um they don't taste any different you know some people think that like the, the low carb or the whole wheat makes it taste funny but I think it tastes just as good so I just wanted to show you that before I forgot I also almost forgot to include stuff that was in my freezer so I totally forgot about it <laughs> but all of this came from Target I'll show you guys so this is the um, Gilbert's craft sausages with the chicken sausage so I'm not a super big fan of chicken sausage so far but I am trying to find new ones so I got the Aloha and this Ancho queso which I'm really excited to try so I got both of these and then I did get some of these like fruit bars. Um, so there's the Outshine watermelon ones and then Target's brand Good and Gather strawberry fruit bars. So I just wanted to show you guys these, um, you know, because I totally forgot, of course. So yeah, I just want to include that for you guys. And then just the last couple things, I got some canola oil. I just use this as spray. Um, I mean, it doesn't show that it has any type of like ingredients because I know some people say that they have like fat or you know some type of bad chemicals in it but I've heard that this one isn't too bad so I got that one and then you guys look at this cute little mug that I picked up it says morning sunshine on it isn't that so cute oh I love it I think it's absolutely adorable so I got that mug it's actually from the same brand as these canisters so I have a cookies a flour and a sugar one and um this mug is actually the same from the same brand so i think that that's super adorable so yeah that's pretty much everything i've got i'll give you another run through so you can see everything oh my gosh i forgot to talk about my cheese see this video's gonna be all over the place <laughs> i did get this craft cheddar um shredded cheddar cheese it is fat free just because i love cheese honestly i know that people say that they can taste the difference honestly truly when i'm making like a wrap or a quesadilla or anything with like melted cheese i truly don't notice the difference so that cheese works just fine for me. Um, so yeah, let me just give you another quick run through of all the stuff I got. So yeah. So I was really sad because neither Walmart nor um, Target, no, I went to this uh, market that's near my house. No place had bagel thins, which I showed you guys. I like the Thomas's everything bagel thins and I'm running low. I only have like two up there, I think. So that's a bummer. Um, so I am missing that. Um, I don't know. I mean, I still have a lot of those snacks and stuff from when I went to Trader Joe's and Whole Foods, that haul. Um, so I didn't really pick up a lot of like snacks or anything. And throughout the week, I try to keep it pretty 
low like with chicken and salads and wraps and stuff like that so yeah I don't know I didn't really have to grab too many snacks because I have plenty of those um but yeah so that's going to be it for my grocery haul um I'm dying I'm sweating I'm so sorry <laughs> um I'm gonna wrap this up so if you guys did enjoy this video please make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below for me share this video with your friends if you feel like it and if you're not currently subscribed please consider hitting the subscribe button along with the notification bell so you can be notified anytime I post an upload but yeah <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you in my next video bye